Hello, hello. Okay, so today, this week, we are we have a full moon coming up on the 18th. It's a beautiful full moon, but I'm not going to talk about the full moon right now because last week we were in a quarter moon. I don't know if you guys saw it, but the quarter moon was glorious. It was so pretty. And I love the quarter moon. It reminds me of a black and white cookie. I love cookies. I love pastries. <laughs> if you ever meet me in person, I love a pastry. Anyways, what does a waxing gibbous moon like what is a waxing gibbous moon like I didn't even know what a gibbous meant well gibbous gibbous the word means starting to fill out to become full into one circle so you're waxing into the full moon so a waxing gibbous moon is where we are right now today is Monday the 14th of March we're going into the spring and this weekend but before we get there I want to share what it means to be in a waxing gibbous moon. Well, it is the perfect time to refine, to go cultivate your intentions, your goals, your dreams. What does this mean? Well, when you had a new moon, we set intentions. The new moon, we get to set those new intentions, those new goals. We get to play and be magical about what we're bringing to the world. We get to allow for possibility and magic. And as we get to the full moon, the full moon is when all of our intentions are hardened, like set in stone in a way where we can take action on them. So up until the full moon, we don't necessarily need to be taking direct action. So for this, for those of you who may be like me, up until a point, not now, but up until a point, I was push, 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 go, 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 action, 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 like pushing like a man, like I must push forward. I must break through. And I was exhausted, constantly exhausted, depleted. And I did not realize that the moon gives us the perfect calendar, the perfect cycle of when to push, when to allow to slow down, when to release, when to step into self-care and reflection, when to push it gives us guidance if we take a step back and we listen and we perceive and we look around the world animals and plants they don't push 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 they have hibernation they go back into the soil they wait and we are na- we are nature as well we are natural beings when we're not meant to push so if you find yourself exhausted frustrated, depleted at the end of every week or end of every month where you just need like a whole week to rejuvenate. You do. For women, we do. And that week is your menstrual cycle. I'll talk more about that when we get to go into the last week of this month and more of the crone in the new moon. But right now we're at the waxing gibbous moon. And what that means is refine, cultivate, go deeper into your intentions. So a beautiful way to do this is to allow time to actually write out exactly what you want. So as an example, I want to manifest, I am creating, my goal is to create a soul rehab, a soul rehab center, a place where women can go. And it is a center where there's yoga and sound healing and horses and animals. Maybe there's chickens, a garden. There's all sorts of things here. And what I get to do is I I write down or I wrote down exactly what does it look like. So for you, what is your dream? What is your intentions for this week, this month, this year? Pick one. Excuse me, sneeze. Pick one and then write exactly what it looks like. Everything it has. Everything. If it's a new home you're thinking about, what does that new home have? What kind of kitchen? Everything that it has. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's a partner. Maybe it's a birth of a child. Like, What are your dreams and your intentions? You have set the intentions from earlier this month, but now go deeper and really define what those look like. That's your first step. Step one, define. Define and refine. Step one, define and refine. Step two is you're going to write how it feels. How does it feel? So you're going to imagine yourself in this space. You're in the future. Now, how do you feel once you've hit this space, once you've hit the goal, once you, maybe it's a money revenue goal that you have. 
maybe it is the house, whatever, the partner, how does it feel in your body? Do you feel safe, secure, loved, included? Do you feel powerful? Do you feel confident? Like, how do you feel in your body? If you can't think of a feeling word, like, do you feel warm, liquidy, tingly, excited? Do you feel powerful? I said powerful again. Like, really write down how you feel. So first one, refine and define what it looks like, like vision-wise. Step two, I'm writing these down for myself again, is feeling. Step three is own it. Step three is own it. So you can say, I am, and if you want to be a mother, I am a mother. What kind of mother are you? I am, just own it, the I am. I am is another way of speaking into God. The I am is God, and you are the creator and the witness of your world. So you can be both witness and creator. So you're going to witness yourself refining, defining, owning it with the I am. And that is also part of the creator. You're refining, you're defining, and then you're going to witness with the I am. So I, for me, with this rehab center, I am the owner, the founder of this rehab center. I am whatever that is. I am the owner of the ranch horse, the, the horses. I am love. I am powerful. Go into the feeling words and then put the I am in front of them. And you can put them up on your wall, but look at them. I want you to really just define and refine your intentions. That's all. And then if you want to do a little bonus homework, step four with the refining, defining is asking yourself, okay, what's next? I know last week I sent um, an email to my list. To those of you who are watching on YouTube and you're not part of my email list, you can go at the description below and uh, pop into my link tree and, and join. But my email list, I had given you the increase my passion prayer. So speak with that prayer again. Use this I am, um, use the feelings, use the refine and define. And then ask, where God do you want me to go? Divine Mother, please reveal the next steps to me. Please reveal the next steps to me and increase my passion and desire for those that area with this goal that you have. It's part of the big magic, the, the, the know-how big magic. You don't need to know how to, you're going to get there. For me, it's this rehab center or soul rehab center. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm going to start trusting that it is because I've defined it. I refined it. I feel it in my body. I know how it feels. Now I can manifest it because I'm called it out. And it's out there now. And I'm constantly pouring out to it, calling for it. And now the next step is the big how magic is knowing that it is going to happen. And that God and divine mother will reveal the next steps to me. And so trusting in that. So every day I ask please reveal the next steps to me and increase the passion and fire in my heart towards that direction. All right. So rewind. First, you we're in the wax and gibbous. Perfect time to refine and define your intentions. Write out exactly what those look like. Draw it out in a picture. You don't even have to write. You could draw it out. You could just define it on a board in writing. Writing's the easiest. Second part of the homework is feel it. How do you feel when you've hit this goal? How do you feel in it? Be in the future. The third one is own it. Use I am statements. And the fourth, your homework is to then lean into universe, lean into God, divine mother to show you the next steps. All right. Let me know what lands, what resonates for you here. Is it helpful? What would you like next? Is there something that you would like to me to speak into more? Um, I really love to know what landed, what resonated, what uh, was helpful. Let me know. You could drop it in the comments here in YouTube, or you can, if you're getting this in my email, just hit reply to the email and let me know. I love to know where you're at. I love to know what's resonating, what you like, what you don't like, and I will give you more love. All right. Until then. Bye guys.